we're going to make a slip knot. So how we do that is we make a loop and then we find that back strand right there. I'm going to push it up and grab it and I'm going to pull the, that yarn tight to make a little knot. But it's a slip knot so it moves to what size you want it. So you can make it really big if you're using like really thick needles or kind of small if you're using smaller needles. So I'm going to grab the yarn and kind of snug it on to our knitting needle. We have our working yarn, the one attached to our ball, on our right side, our tail on our left side. So we're going to take these two fingers and go in, wrap our other three empty fingers around the two strands, open up our, our two other fingers, and bring down the needle. So we kind of have a V shape. Now this one is we're going to take our needle tip and we're go, going to go under this strand right here and we're going to go turn and grab that strand right here. Now we're going to go back through the hole that we went through before. Take out our thumb and tighten it up. Then we're going to do that again. It takes some practice to get even tension between all your stitches, but with time, you'll, you'll get it. This particular cast on might be a little hard for you, so I'm going to show you another cast on that's also arthritis friendly. I'm just going to show you another method, which is the same cast on, and we start it the exact same way with our slip knot and our, our tail and our working yarn on the exact same way that we have for our other one, only we're going to take the working yarn in our right hand, and we're going to wrap it around our finger, right there, and we're going to take our other yarn and just wrap it around our thumb, and I've, I'm actually holding it with my... Um, two bottom fingers. I'm going to go under that loop just like we did before. I'm going to take this working yarn, wrap the yarn around so I'm kind of throwing it over the needle. Now I'm going to go back out and I'm going to tighten that up. Now I'm going to do that again like that and go out and tight. And they're both just a normal long tail cast on and they give you the exact same result. Just one you're using one hand and the other one you're using both. Oops. So now once you get the amount of stitches you want or desire on your needle for a scarf, for a hat, or any other thing, well, any other project, because you're always going to need to cast on any amount of stitches. You're just going to grab your other knitting needle and begin, ready to yarn, begin to knit. I hope you enjoyed learning how to cast on your stitches.